Hey guys, what's going on? Justin here from Sports Recruiting University, and today we're going to talk about the top five recruiting myths that I see out there floating around in the recruiting world, and a lot of these may surprise you, so let's get into it. Number one, attending camps, showcases, and clinics is all I need to do. That alone will get me recruited. And false. This is completely not true. If you rely on solely just camps and showcases and those types of events to get you recruited, you're probably going to be extremely let down. You see, a lot of these types of events are really just fundraisers. I know for, for a fact that my particular school puts on cl clinics and camps and that type of stuff every single year, and they're strictly for fundraisers. Sure, if there's a kid that absolutely lights it up, our coaches might take a second look, but you really, really have to be careful with these types of events. And it's not the only thing that you should be doing in the recruiting process. You absolutely need to be proactive and uh, be doing more than just attending these types of events. Number two, grades won't be a huge factor because I have so much talent. This is another thing that's completely, completely false. A lot of the times, depending on what sport you play and what level you're playing at, um, scholarships are extremely, extremely limited. Sometimes there may be nine scholarships to go around a 40-man roster. So chances of you getting a full ride are extremely slim. And if you don't have good grades, there's no shot that you can get any academic money. Now, also, when you're in college, you have to get good enough grades to even stay eligible to play in the first place. So you can't just go in there in college and completely slack off. If you get into bad habits grade-wise in high school, it's going to continue into college. But what I would recommend, focus hard in the classroom, get the job done. That way, if you get a little bit of athletic money, you can make up the rest of it with academic money and get as close to a full ride as you possibly can. Number three, coaches don't like to be contacted by prospective student athletes. This is false. Coaches love when you reach out to them. You, not your parents, not your high school coach, not anybody else besides you. They love it if you fill out their questionnaires. They love it if you send them an email with your highlight video. They love, you know, phone calls after a few emails. Don't just give them a cold call, but they love communicating directly with prospective student athletes. It shows that you care. It shows you're serious and committed and not just relying on some outside agency or your parents to contact them. So they love when high school players actually reach out to them. Definitely do it. Number four, if you're good enough, coaches will find you. Eh, they might. They might, depending on how good you are. If you're a five-star, you know, blue chip caliber recruit, then yes, if you're good enough, coaches probably will find you because you're going to be all over the news and uh, your stats are going to be all over online. But if you're, you know, just... You're in the upper echelon, but you're not the cream of the crop, the absolute top five-star recruits, you know, 100 prospects in the nation, that type of thing, then coaches aren't just going to find you. You need to be proactive in the recruiting process. You need to be filling out questionnaires. You need to highlight video on YouTube. You need to be contacting coaches, giving them calls, uh, really just branching out and exposing yourself uh, as much as you possibly can. Times have changed. Back in the day, coaches would you know, show up to games and look in the paper at stats, and if you were good enough, coaches would find you. But nowadays, with the internet and with so many competition, um, you can't just rely on being good enough these days. Number five, getting recruited costs a ton of money and I can't afford it. False. Getting recruited can be 100% free. You know, you might have to pay some small fees like the eligibility center and things like that, but getting recruited does not cost a ton of money. Sure, if you go to a, a recruiting agency who charges you thousands of dollars to help place you at a school, that might cost you an arm and a leg. That's why I don't really recommend doing that. But getting recruited, you know, putting a highlight video on YouTube, that's 100% free. Sending emails is free. Calling is free besides maybe the phone bill, but your parents probably pick up that tab. So getting recruited does not cost a ton of money whatsoever. That's a myth. All right, guys, I know that was quite a few myths. I went through those relatively quickly, so rewatch the video if you have any questions about those, or you can always leave a comment below, and I will try to answer them. But if you like this training, then the training does not stop here. So head on over to my website, sportsrecruitinguniversity.com. You can click uh, right here, we'll put it. Click on this little annotation, this little box, and claim your free gift. I want to share with you three common mistakes I see all the time in high school prospects, high 
highlight videos. So you definitely want to avoid these if you're looking to play at the next level. So once again, just click on that little uh, box right there. Or if that's not working, if you're on a mobile device, click on the very first link down there in the description below. That'll take you to the website, sportsrecruitinguniversity.com. All right, guys, as always, make sure you leave a thumbs up, comment below. Let me know if you, if you like this kind of stuff, what type of videos that you are interested in learning about next. And uh, I hope you have a great day wherever you are. All right, guys, till next time.